Good morning, everyone, and thank you for joining me on my YouTube and Rumble channels this morning. Today is April the 17th of 2023, and I'd like to share with you another word from the Lord that will encourage you, and especially if you have felt held back, restricted, and you sense that God has bigger things for you, and yet you feel stuck and ineffective in the world around you. The word today is titled, Release for the Josephs. I'll begin this word by reading scripture. Psalm 145, verses 13b through to 20. The Lord is faithful to all his promises and loving toward all he has made. The Lord upholds all those who fall and lifts up all who are bowed down. The eyes of all look to you, and you give them their food at the proper time. You open your hand and satisfy the desires of every living thing. The Lord is righteous in all his ways toward all he has made. The Lord is near to all who call on him. To all who call on him in truth, he fulfills the desires of those who fear him. He hears their cry and saves them. The Lord watches over all who love him. I'll begin reading the word. Give and it shall be given unto you. Ask and you shall receive. You have not because you ask not, says the Lord. All things are possible with God, and in this day all things will be released unto those who love me and are called according to my purposes. Many are being raised up in this day and being put into positions of great influence and authority. Many have been oppressed by the enemy and have been put into a pit awaiting the time of release, and this is the day of release for the Josephs. They shall be raised up into position to bring salvation to a lost and dying world, and those who have opposed them will see that they are the ones whom I have chosen. So fear not for your time of release has come, says the Lord. Rejoice in your king, for he has come to release the captives and to raise up his chosen ones to rule and reign with him. Follow my lead, and you shall not be thrown off track. I have much prepared for you. I have ready an abundance of blessing to be released upon you. Multiple giftings are about to be released, and you will marvel at the creativity that flows forth. I am opening one door of ministry after another, for as many colors was Joseph's coat, many faceted are the giftings and their implementation. Great is my spirit within you, and he will perform these things through you. This is a day like none other, for in this day everything the enemy has stolen will be given back. Every spiritual blessing is yours in Christ Jesus, and in this day every spiritual blessing will be released as rain from heaven. The waters of my spirit are rising, says the Lord. The depth of the work I am doing is great in the lives of my people. No longer will the enemy kill, rob, and destroy. For in this day I am restoring back unto my people all that is rightfully theirs through the redemptive work of my Son. My people shall be brought into wholeness. They shall no longer wander in a desert land, but they shall eat of the goodness of the land that has been prepared for them. Look up, my people. Your redemption is drawing nigh. 
Every promise of my word shall come to pass. Every letter of my law shall be kept. My people shall be loosed of their bondages, and they shall enter into liberty, joy, and fullness of life, says the Lord. My arm is stretching forth over the nations to bring into account every evil thought and deed. The motives and intents of the hearts of men shall be judged, and the works of darkness shall come into submission to the Lord. My love for my people is stirred up within me, and my passion for them is great. I will bring them back to their first love. I will apprehend them and bring them back to me, says the Lord. As we can see in this word today, the Lord is fulfilling his promises in the scriptures from the Psalms. He is delivering us from bondage and he is raising us up and setting us into a position of influence. Just as Joseph, who was put into a pit and thinking all is lost, was eventually taken out of the pit and put in a position of authority in the land of Egypt. The enemy has been working overtime. He comes to steal, kill, and destroy. But the Lord is telling us that he is putting an end to the devil's work and that he is restoring back to us all that belongs to us in Christ. The Lord is ready to release an abundance of good gifts upon his people. And he says that just as Joseph's coat was that of many colors, the implementation of these giftings is many faceted and just as joseph was released from the pit and raised up into rulership so will we be as we function in the fullness of christ and in the giftings and the spiritual blessings that he is releasing to us in this day maybe some of us have given up given up on the lord given up on his word to come through for us. But this word today encourages us that the Lord is pursuing us, that he is stripping us of our bondages, bringing us into freedom and liberty in Christ, and drawing us in that he would be our first love once again. I hope this word today will encourage you who are listening to it. The Lord hasn't forsaken his people. He is coming through on his promises. And just as with Joseph, there is a time factor. And our release, too, will come at the right time. May we all continue to hold on to God's promises. And may he release his abundance upon each one of us. We serve an awesome God. May we be faithful to him because he will be faithful to us. Thank you for listening today. May you be encouraged and blessed. May the Lord release his goodness even in this day. Have a wonderful afternoon and we'll talk to you again in the next video. Till then, bye for now.